And there is that magic to before the season starts and everybody's healthy for the most part and everything looks good on paper and then you go out and do it. In Denver, one of their key pieces, not healthy again, Bradley Chubb, a top five pick a few years back and one of the best pass rushers in the NFL when healthy, has a hard time staying healthy. He's having arthroscopic surgery to remove bone spur in his ankle. He was inactive week one, played just 19 snaps in week two. We can't get Bradley Chubb and Von Miller on the field at the same time. And hey, the Broncos are 2-0. and oh. yeah. Now, it's not like they've beaten the Bucks and the Chiefs in back-to-back weeks, but still, they're undefeated. But, but they're not getting the full benefit of their 100% top-flight defense. And, you know, that, that's part of the reality when the games start. All that optimism that is fueled by, hey, look at the players we have. Hey, look at the – yeah, no one's taking into account the reality that some of those players just aren't going to be available. And you're going to have to hope that their backups can come in and get it done. And as the Broncos try to get to 3-0, and they got the Jets coming to town. So 3-0 and may be happen. easily within reach. Right. They're not going to have Bradley Chubb. And uh, we'll see when he gets back, and we'll see if he can hang around for a while once he does. Yeah, th- that's the point. You know, again, they got a really good defense. You know, we, we know that. Fangio's really good. Uh, but, but yeah, get it done now. I mean, okay, he's not the same. You know, I, I, watched, the, I watched him closely, you know, last night. Pete will tell you I was actually watching when I was on the phone with him at one point last night where – you know, I, I knew we were going to talk about it on the show. And let me go back and watch him and just, like, really study him, you know, because the backups have been good. They were good in the New York Giants game, and they pop they pop in, in this last game against Jacksonville. But, yeah, Bradley Chubb's not the same. You know, as you know, we talk about this all the time. We talk about draft and edge rushers and, and that, that type of movement and what's expected out of those pass rushers. Yeah, they got to put a ton of force on their feet. I mean, they're running around the corner – they're at four five and two hundred and seventy five pounds like Bradley Chubb, and he's got a three hundred and thirty pound man pushing on him, and his ability to be able to push off those feet and create power and push the O line back or win with speed is crucial to the position. And you could see that he can't do that. Um, so yeah, do it now. You know, take your medicine, and hopefully. You're, if you're Denver, you're in the playoff race, you know, that last half of the year, and then he can come back and really help your football team. But they shouldn't drop off much on defense. The kid Malik Reed, uh, Malik, right? It's Malik Reed, right? He's he he's good player. He really is. He's not Bradley Chubb when he's 100% healthy, but he's better than Bradley Chubb right now. So they shouldn't miss, you know, a whole lot. They're still going to be a really good defense, and even the rookie they got from Ohio State, Jonathan Cooper, he does a good job as well. So it shouldn't like the the, the ship shouldn't sink Why Bradley Chubb's gone. Chubb had an arthroscopic procedure to remove a bone spur in the other ankle back in May. He was back Man. to drills 11 weeks later. Now, I don't know that that means he's going to be out 11 weeks, but you can put a guy on IR. The 2020 COVID rules spilled over to 2021. You got a minimum of three weeks. You put the guy on IR, and he can come back anytime after that. So it may be a while until we see him. They're just going to need to hold it together. And he said himself, I haven't really been healthy since 2018, and Gosh. he was awesome in 2018. He right. almost set the rookie sack record held by Javon Curse in 2018. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.